Hey guys, I know you're probably like, bitch, where you been? Honestly, initially I had planned to take a month off of YouTube and a month turned into five months. I've been really busy and stressed out with work and I don't know what got into me for a while there. I think I just lost my motivation because I feel like YouTube's kind of different now. It's kind of changed since I first started it and for some reason, I don't know, I just lost my mojo. I feel like I needed about five months to sort of figure out what my purpose on YouTube is. On the sidelines, what I've been doing is working on my website, which was hacked a little while back. Trying to get my motivation back when it comes to the beauty vault overall. Like I haven't even freelanced. I've had some things go on in my life um, that I feel like I've suppressed for a long time and maybe that came up to the surface and it just kind of pooped me out. I don't know, pooped me out. I know, I have a way with words. Everybody has shit that happens in their lives and I just sort of got into this funk and one month went by, two months went by and I feel like the more time that went by, the more stressed out I was about coming back to YouTube and the more I would talk myself out of it. It's really fucking weird and it doesn't help that I work full time and I'm not like super passionate about what I'm doing right now in life so it's just been a mix of a uh, downer type shit that's been in the back of my head and I'm finally getting out of it which is positive. I might even do a video on how I've kind of gotten myself out of a funk. I feel like the holiday season has really helped to uplift my spirits. I feel like it really pulled me out of this super emo phase that I've been in the last little while. I'm really excited for Christmas, I'm really excited for baking and holiday activities and bright lights and crisping home and all that kind of stuff. I realized that this vlog didn't really have an intro so I thought I'd hop on here and do that. Uh, thank you guys very much for being so patient with me. Uh, thought I'd make it up to you by filming a vlog even though my life is the least exciting thing ever. Everybody says that, but for real, Louie is like the most exciting part of my vlogs, I feel. I'm out here looking like a greasy bag of dicks. I tried to go on the treadmill tonight. It was a little bit of a failure. Gonna try again tomorrow. First thing in the morning on an empty stomach, we're gonna do fasted cardio. <sighs> I'm already dreading it. A little bit of a late snack for me, just some steamed broccoli and a little bit of garlic and a protein shake. And this is my dinner date because I didn't want to eat by myself. Looking good in here. I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with uh, this empty space down here. It's driving me crazy. I spy with my little eye a loaf. Guess who got up today and didn't do any morning cardio yet? This kid. But I did get a Lush package, which is very nice because I love Lush and TBH. I don't really receive packages all that often. So when I do, it's very special, especially when I already really love the brand's products. So I'm gonna open this and show you what's inside. Louie's gonna have fun with these. Oh wow, there's a big gift in here. 
I don't know why I poured all these out. I got excited and I just flipped the box upside down and now I regret it because I'm gonna have to clean that shit up. Little product brochure, little note. This is the gift, ray of light. I have a few things here that I've never tried. I love their super bright packaging. This packaging reminds me so much of high school and my current snowboarding gear. Everything's like super neon because I suck. And so if anything happens to me on the mountain, um, the paramedics would be able to spot me from a helicopter and identify me, you know? Safety first. Jesus Christ, look at my living room. Um, little mini yuzu and cocoa shower cream. Sweet cocoa and tonka meet fresh yuzu for a delectable chocolate orange scented leather. Interesting. Pop the cork and lather up with an uplifting blend of vine leaf infusion and grape juice. Sounds like wine to me and I'm kind of into it. This is one of my faves. Rose jam, lather up with decadent rose absolute vanilla pod infusion and nourishing argan oil. This I believe is the shooting star soap or something. This is the other soap that I haven't tried. Oh. What's this? Oh, this is the igloo soap. Interesting. Ocean salt, love this shit. Rose Argan Body Conditioner. If you guys haven't tried this, I highly recommend it. It will make all your special parts super smooth. They have a Snow Fairy one right now for Christmas, which I purchased when I was in Whistler a few weeks ago, and it's obviously fabulous. Rub, 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 shower scrub. This is like in a solid form. I have a couple of these already. Dream cream. I think I'm gonna throw this in my purse because since I've gotten gel nails, I notice my cuticles are extra flaky. So that's cool. And that's it. Now I gotta clean all this shit up. Thanks Lush, you are my ray of light. I waited way too long to do fasted cardio, so I'm gonna have a bowl of cereal. This is one degree veganic sprouted brown rice. I'm hoping it's good, I've never tried it. I'm gonna have it with some cashew milk. This is my favorite cashew milk, by the way, it's delish. Mm. It tastes really healthy, not very sweet. Sweet enough that you still feel like you're eating cereal. I think it's sweetened with coconut palm sugar. Interesting. So here's the thing. I've been doing household chores all day and now I'm thinking of making my own bath caddy. If you're unfamiliar with what a bath caddy is, it's uh, one of these. It's like a little table that you lay out on the ledge of your bath and you can read a book or have a glass of wine or listen to music. Basically just like a little uh, serving table, if you will, while you're in the bath. So, don't ask me why, but I have this piece of wood lying around the house and I have some marble contact paper. This is the same contact paper that I use to marble my Ikea nightstands. So I think I'm gonna marble this piece of wood and I'm gonna turn it into a bath caddy because I am not paying $50 for a piece of wood with a bunch of holes in it, you know? I will link where I purchased this in the description box below for anybody looking for it. I snapchatted my nightstands after we marbled them a little while back and I had some of you asking me where I got my contact paper from. We're gonna go see if this piece of wood is gonna work out with the bathtub. If you hear a noise in the background, my washer dryer is just outside this door and I'm finishing laundry. I've been so fucking busy all day, but this is what it would look like. So I have the tiniest little ledge here, but it's just enough for it to stay sturdy. This will hold quite a bit of weight. It's the perfect length, it's the perfect width. The ones that I've seen at the store are not as wide, so you can't fit as much shit on them. I usually like to watch something when I'm soaking in the bathtub. I could have a glass of wine, I could have some snacks, the whole shebang. I don't think I'm gonna do the whole back. It's kind of a waste of marble contact paper. I'm just gonna do the front. Look who it is. Why I decided to do this now, I don't know. Hey Lou. Check it out. Not bad at all. Actually, I think it looks bomb as fuck. I'm not even gonna say that it's not bad. You don't wanna see the underneath part because I didn't marble the entire bottom part of it because it's not gonna show. I saved $40. Ain't nobody got time to spend $40.
If you guys want to know how I marble contact paper shit, it's not very hard. There's probably videos on YouTube if you do want to see because I am likely gonna be marbling everything around my house in the future, let me know in the comments below. Maybe it'll be like a fun way for me to break up my imaginary makeup videos that I've been posting left, right, and center. Just, that, that was me trying to make light of the fact that I'm the worst YouTuber ever. Anyway, next clip, tubs filled. Now it's time to decide what bath bomb I wanna use. I think I'm gonna use Blackberry. I had a little bit of an accident and I'm just gonna choose this one because it's on the top and I really don't feel like getting everything more dusty. I would normally do like a bath melt or a bubble bar, but I'm so tired tonight. I can't even function or think about anything. I'm gonna watch The Real Housewives of Atlanta on here. And I have the diffuser here, which I'm gonna turn on. So it's gonna be like a fucking spawn here. Yeah. We've got Allergy Release by Sage. The diffuser is also from Sage. I bought it the other day. We're gonna make a soup now. This is a really easy soup to make. It's delicious. It's one of Chris's favorites and I've Snapchatted it before while I was making it and I had a bunch of you Snapchat me and ask me for the recipe. So this is for you guys. And for those of you who are looking for like a really delicious, easy soup to make, it doesn't require a lot of ingredients quick and easy, and I'm gonna make a shit ton of it because I want it to last me all week. Chef Reans is upgrading from Snapchat videos to vlogs. All right, so we got some organic celery, organic carrots, one large white onion, and this is what we're gonna start with. Oh, and some garlic. So I'm gonna wash this, chop it up. Uh, it doesn't have to be too fine because we're eventually gonna blend the shit out of it while it's in the pot. But I do like to dice it up because it cooks a little bit faster that way. So I'm just gonna wash these, peel the carrots, chop them up, chop up the celery, and then chop up this onion and probably cry like a little bitch because I always do because onions just, they fuck me right up. Oof, that onion gets me every time. I don't think I'm ever not gonna be able to cry at onions and I've been cooking since I was a little kid. If anybody has a trick to avoiding tears while chopping an onion, please let a girl know in the comments. I chopped up about three cups of organic carrots, three cups of celery, one large white onion, and then I've got three cloves of garlic. And midway, while the vegetables are sauteing, I'm gonna add a little bit more of organic garlic puree. I fucks with garlic heavy. I don't know what it is. I was just raised that way. Don't know if it's like a European thing, but it's really good for you. Got my eight quart pot here with about a tablespoon and a half of extra virgin olive oil. And I'm gonna start sauteing my carrot and my celery and my garlic. <laughs> I'm gonna saute this for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna add the onion and let that sweat out. I do the carrots and the celery first because the carrots take a little bit longer to get soft. Okay, so we're gonna add our onion. This is called a morpois. That is the chef term for onion, uh, carrot, and celery. It's pretty much the base for any soup and a lot of cooking in general. Fun fact about me, both of my parents are chefs. I honestly do believe that it has something to do with why I love cooking so much. Makes me pretty happy. While this is sauteing, I'm going to uh, add some seasoning. The number one thing that I would recommend for this soup in particular is smoked salt. I also add regular pink Himalayan salt. I add some cayenne, surprise, surprise, garlic powder, some pepper, and the secret ingredient, if you're a European, You'll know what I'm talking about. Your mom probably used it growing up in everything. Vegeta. I almost feel like it's mandatory to have this in your house or you're not a euro. I'm gonna eyeball about one tablespoon of this. Vegeta is basically just a bunch of spices. Let me know in the comments below if your mom had this in the pantry growing up. We got this simmering. Now we're gonna add our red lentils. And I add about two cups to three cups. I just kind of eyeball it to be honest. A lot of the time I don't measure. I don't measure a lot of things when I cook. I don't remember where I got this recipe from. I wanna say that it was on Pinterest somewhere and I kinda of added like a Reen's touch to it. So two or three cups of these, I'm gonna let them soak up these juices a little bit and then I'm gonna add probably three or four or five cups of water. Again, I'm gonna eyeball it and uh, let it simmer for a while. So I ended up doing three cups. It just made sense to me. And I'm gonna mix these in. 
I'm only gonna leave them to soak up the liquid for about 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna add my water. And I think I'm gonna add five cups of water to start. Sometimes I add more water once I get a better idea of how thick it is. I don't want it to be too, too thick. And after I blend, what normally happens is the lentils soak up all the water so it becomes a little bit too thick. And we don't want that. Starting out with two cups of water. Probably up it to like seven cups now that I kind of have an idea of what two cups looks like. I ended up using about 10 cups of water and now I'm gonna do three tablespoons of nutritional yeast. I've cut out dairy for the last, I wanna say, six months now. We've been eating really plant-based in this house, so this is gonna give the soup sort of like a cheesy flavor. I'm gonna do three tablespoons of this, maybe a little bit more after I taste it. And then I'm gonna take this handy dandy hand blender, which is my favorite part, and I'm gonna pulverize the shit out of all of this. <laughs> thousand years later. Once the soup is looking smooth like this, you're good to go. It is a little bit thick. I might add a little bit more water to it because it's only gonna get thicker overnight. And I'm not gonna have any right now. I'll probably vlog later when I do have some. I'm gonna do some cardio right now. But I'm gonna show you the croutons that I like to add on top. These are so good. Boulangerie Ace Bakery. Mini baguette crisps in the roasted garlic flavor. So good. Silly me, I didn't even do a taste test. Mm. Pretty bomb. Um, I don't even think I mentioned how much seasoning I put into it. So I'm gonna have to put that in the description box below. To be honest, I kind of eyeball it every time, so I might be making it up sometimes do a smaller batch, sometimes I double it, sometimes I triple it when Chris is home because he eats so much. So just kind of use your judgment when it comes to seasoning, but you have to have that smoked salt because it gives it that warm, smoky flavor. Louis out here having his meal. He always drags the bowl closer to him with his little Grinch paws. Oh my god, I'm pregnant with emotion. You're just the sweetest little thing. He's got an attitude, you guys. I like it, you know? He kind of makes me work for his affection. This little festive water bowl. Crumpled up some of my baguette croutons in here. It smells so good. Bone apple teeth. This is like his spot lately. Well, hello. Just sitting here with my little Biore nose strip. I'm really hoping this extracts the nastiness that's around my nostrils because I find with these gel nails, it's really hard to squeeze my pores the way I used to. So that's happening. And I'm also watching on the cooking channel, Simply Laura. Laura in the kitchen on YouTube. She has her own TV show now on the cooking channel and I'm so excited. I just love her so much. And I've always thought to myself, she's totally gonna get a cooking show someday. And here she is on my TV. If you guys have no idea who I'm talking, about, I will link her YouTube channel below. She makes really delicious food. Whoa. Whoa! I should probably go to bed because it's one and I have work in the morning and I'm trying really hard to get up and do morning cardio before work because although I hate cardio, it's a necessary evil and I've been bulking for about six months now and I think it's time to do some cutting because I'm getting fluffy. Also, I don't know if any of you watch Westworld, but I think the season finale was tonight and I'm trying really hard not to watch it because I'm trying to save myself for when Chris gets home in two days and watch it with him. If you guys don't watch Westworld, it is so good. It's like a huge mind fuck. I catch myself thinking about it when I'm zoning out driving or when I'm in the shower or just sitting at my desk. It's very good. It's on HBO. And for those of you who do watch it, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to talk to somebody about it. In other news, I'm thinking of coloring my hair. I've never colored my hair. This is au naturel. It's very yellow to me, and I feel like I kind of want to change it to like an ash blonde. And I'm going to show you some inspo. But it's a huge decision because I've never colored it before. So I'm kind of scared that I'll never be able to get this like natural situation back. It's not like I'm thinking of doing anything extreme. I'll actually show you. Kind of like an ash. My hairstylist said that it's called a balayage and that it would be really easy to do on my hair because I'm already blonde and it's already light blonde. 
I really like this one, so I don't know, maybe I'll do it. Or maybe I'll totally puss out and not do it when I'm sitting in the chair, who knows. I think I might do it in the next two or three weeks. I definitely wanna do it before New Year's. I don't know, I will keep you posted. I think I should take this off now, and part of me really wants to show you how much nastiness we are able to extract from my nose. Who wants to see my blackheads? Honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed considering the amount of pain I just went through pulling this off my nose. I really thought I'd extract more than this. Fuck. Just got home from work and I sat in traffic for what felt like 4,000 years uh, because it snowed yesterday in Vancouver and boy oh boy did it snow. I love the snow, I just hate driving in it and I hate traffic so now I gotta go to Chris's dad's house, change my tires to winter tires, have to change my windshield wipers. So that's what we got going on. You know what's the worst? Running out of toilet paper and having to like hobble your way over to the pantry to get another roll. That's fucking brutal and that's exactly what just happened to me. Look at his tiny little ears. I wish you guys saw him as a baby. He had the most defined characteristic eyebrows I've ever seen in my life. If I have a picture, I will insert it because his eyebrows were fleeky to say the least. Just like his mama. Hey Lou. Before I head out the door to freeze my tits off, I thought I would just show you guys my shirt. I feel like it needs a moment of appreciation. Not sure if you guys have read the new Harry Potter book or seen Fantastic Beasts, but I would highly recommend both. I'm sitting on the couch editing this vlog right now and I realize I didn't even introduce this clip to you. Chris and I are still a little bit shy when it comes to like vlogging and stuff, so I feel super weird whipping out the camera and talking to it right in front of him. I was just sort of trying to film the experience rather than giving you an introduction. Basically what we did here this night is we went to Enchant, which is this light show in Vancouver. Super pretty, it's 20 bucks to get in and you just go through this maze and you try to find nine reindeer. We went super late, so we had to kind of like rush through it. To be honest, I kind of expect more. It was really hyped up online, so I thought it was gonna be fucking nuts. I would do it again though. Since we have no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. <laughs> Let it snow. See, we found one. Look, it's eating the snow. Louie, is that you? You like that dude in that movie with the plastic bag? The creepy guy with the plastic bag that floats around. I don't know what you're talking about. It's like not another teen movie. This is Chris says I am. <laughs> Are you kidding? And the fire is slowly dying. And my dear, we're still goodbye. Umbrella holder of the year, you literally threw it over your head. What are you talking about? This. this is what I have to deal with. Are you serious? His nose. Oh, okay. I was like, where'd his nose go? It's red. It goes off, doesn't it? No. Am I just blind? Yes. I'm literally seeing it go off. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. 
didn't formally end this vlog, so here I am again. I hope you guys enjoyed it. By the way, the lip color that I'm wearing is Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Trust Issues. Uh, Louis over here is begging me for treats. He's in that type of mood. It's pretty late right now and he gets like rambunctious at night and he begs for treats like a dog. Watch this shit. <laughs> okay, give me the bag. Hey! <laughs> And then he runs away. God forbid I take his treat. All right, we gotta go to bed. See you in the next one. Bye.